Hello, golf friends. Coach Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. Always love having you along for these videos. Hope that they help you out. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So I want to do something a little different today and talk about your wedges. So if there's one thing that really impressed me being out on tour for about 20 years with my brother, Pat Bates, was watching the tour players hit their wedges. And so that to me would be everything up to say, you know, 130 yards as an example, right? And they are so deadly. I mean, you put a wedge in, the, in a tour player's hand, he's going to hit it probably inside 15 feet. The average person I teach sometimes won't even get it on the green. And that's at least a little short swing, right? So spend a lot of time on your wedges. Most of you have three wedges, right? You got pitching wedge, gap wedge, and sand wedge, or you got pitching wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge. Spend a lot of time on those. And here's what I'd want you to do is work on different lengths. So half swing, three quarters, full, with all your wedges and know your carry distances. Maybe sometime put some targets out there and do some yardage um work on different yardages, right? So that, you know, distance control is so key with your wedges, okay? So let's take a look at him with a wedge right here. And so, you know, very nice setup, a little more knee bend than some, right? Um, but, you know, a nice athletic position, um, very good player, you know, 27th in the world, you know, especially in the majors, you could see, uh, you know, him up at the top a lot because he hits a ton of greens, you know, top 10, top 15, you know, yearly and also, you know, fairly long hitter. So taking it back here, a little bit shut right here, but no problem, right? You know, on a clock, you might say that's, you know, say close to two, maybe quarter or two. <laughs> but you see that's one o'clock's probably average. So no problem there. Most of those guys just don't have as much release going through with the with a face. But anyhow, taking it back right here, you know, along that shaft line plane, head nice and still. And he's going to get it back to about right here would be the top. So I would put that on a clock. I'd put that at like 10 o'clock. And here's what I'd say. This is probably a three-quarter wedge. Work on three different lengths, as an example. Work on a length that would be, say, your left arm parallel to the ground. And then that'd be 9 o'clock, right? Then work on, say, 10 o'clock where he is. And then maybe work on full swing, which would be about 11 o'clock on a clock. Get those distances down with your wedges. They're so important right here. So, you know, turning here nicely, you know, maybe some restriction with it with the hips right here, but a very compact, tight swing he has, even his full swing. Okay, then starting down, you know, initiating that weight into the left side, right? You know, club following that. And here's what you always want to look for is look at this beautiful angle of attack, you know, just slightly above the original shaft line plane, right? So when I do video with people or when you send your video in to me, I'm always going to draw this shaft line plane to give you orientation as to where your club is coming down because we want it down on that shaft line plane or thereabouts, right? Most people I teach too steep outside in, create, and slice, and that's usually because an open club face at impact, something I can help you with. Okay, working down into the hitting area, right? Some a rotation with this body. The biggest thing that you want to do that I think is very important is you hit down the ball, take ball, then divot. Right, he got some compression with his head, and you see that divot fly right there. That's so important that you hit down on the ball, don't scoop or lift it up. I got some drills I can help you out as well. So, taking that divot, extending through, right, head down, you know, through the shot, staying in his spine angle. You can see his head down and then all the way up onto his right toe. So, you know, just a very good wedge player. When you look at his numbers, uh, last year he was uh, 19th from 50 to 125 yards and 20th from 100 to 20, 100 to 125 year before 21st and 12. So this guy's a great wedge player. And I don't think you can really score at any level if you're not a great wedge player. So work on it. Okay, great. Facebook, Gary Bates Golf Academy. Hey, this is the time to send your video in to me. Maybe you got one on your phone. You can just email it to me. Directions over there on the Gary Bates Golf Academy Facebook page. Hey, if you're on YouTube, I love for you to subscribe to the videos. Love for you to be a part of our community. Uh, you know, you could. There's a little subscribe button that's going to come up right about now on the screen if you're on your computer, not so much on the phone. Love for you to do that. Be, give us a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. I would love that. Come out for a lesson at the beautiful Jersey Devil Golf Center in Winslow, New Jersey. And thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.